So as someone who suffers from mental health problems and overthinking in general, I have experienced the odd panic attack now and again. I'm lucky in that I don't suffer from panic disorder. Whenever I do have a panic attack, it's usually triggered by a lack of control, usually over something physical. For example, I had one the other month because I went to the dentist to get my mouth numbed so I could have an injection um, and I lost all feeling in the side of my face, which is what it was meant to do, but my body freaked out. It was like, what the heck is this? Nope, I don't want that time to panic. I've had one sitting in a theme park ride where I got stuck and I couldn't get out for about 20 minutes. That was a lot of fun. Mmm, that was, that was a great one. Loved that. I've had one when I was put to sleep in the hospital, but he could not take the idea of something telling me to just shut down. Mate, it's time to shut down. That's my grime accent. Okay. And I've had some where I've been stuck in a crowded train and I can't get out. Just, just like the lack of control. I need, I need to get out. I want this to stop and I can't. So that's my panic inducing activities. If you're getting panic attacks for no particular reason, like you're getting them quite a lot, like quite frequently, I'd recommend booking an appointment with your GP so you can find the root of the issue. But as a temporary solution, here are my tips and tricks on how to deal with one if it's happening right now. Number one, the first main thing to note is that you're probably going to jump into a lot of catastrophic thinking. A lot of what if this never ends and oh god I can't stop it and I'm going to go fully insane. And my tip is every time a thought like that creeps into your head maybe notice it like don't bash it away but just know that it's illogical. Instead of arguing it away maybe gently replace it with thoughts like I am safe, I am okay, and I will be okay, and this will end shortly. Your panicky thoughts are telling lies that feel like the truth, but they're not. At the moment, you're just a human body that has got a bit too much adrenaline running through their veins, and it will leave very soon, and you'll be alright. Something that helps me with these ginormous terrifying thoughts are sort of, not like belittling it, but like taking away the power by trying to find it funny. I know that sounds crazy, but give it a go. It's just a thing. Isn't it strange how silly my brain can be? It doesn't have to be as massive as it wants to be. Number two, everyone always says try to focus on your breathing, but sometimes that makes me feel worse. Instead, maybe just make sure you're not over breathing. Notice it, but maybe don't obsess over it. You're not going to faint or die from just breathing too much, but it will make you feel lightheaded and probably make you panic even more. Um, so a good tip I have is is to close your mouth. It's kind of hard to hyperventilate if your mouth is closed. Um, the whole in through the nose, out through the mouth thing can feel a bit like... <laughs> so if you're closing your mouth, you're just sort of like breathing normally. It's okay. Also, try and relax your shoulders as well. I notice that when I'm panicking, I just somehow end up up here and everything feels all tight. So just remember to drop, close your mouth and just be like, everything's chill. It's all good. And number three. Be mindful. Feel your feet on the floor, feel your bum on the seat, feel your hands on your arms, and notice that you're alive and functioning and you're okay. Now, hear me out on this, but try closing your eyes and just experience what you're feeling. Like, obviously don't women encourage the panic, but just notice the way your chest feels rather than pushing it away. I know it's easier said than done, but maybe just let it wash over you. Sometimes this is enough to make my panic completely disappear. Sometimes it's like, fine, I will wash over you and I am still panicking, but sometimes by not repressing it and resisting it, it sort of diminishes a bit. So yeah, there you go. Those are, those are my tips. I'm not professional, as you know. That helps me, so I hope it helps you too. Thanks for watching. Happy Vedif, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!